welcome to the Virgin Mobile Live House presented by LG in Austin, Texas. This is the last interview of the night, day one. One of my favorite DJs of all time, artists, producers, goddesses in general with the sex boot bearing. Need I say more, MNDR, welcome to our, our home, our home away from home. How you doing? Not too bad. <laughs> This is your last interview, and this is my first drink at Sapphire. Exactly. I like how we, we're like a Venn diagram. We just cross over at exactly the right spot. Yay. Okay, so um, you are going to be spinning here tonight, but I think we need to talk about the singles, the videos, the upcoming album on Ultra Records. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. You have a home with Ultra. I know. I'm so, so excited. Good. It's my little home. Yay. <laughs> Number one in heaven. That video came out. And directed by Cody from Shun. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. That and it just it went viral, it went everywhere. But I hear there's a second one in the works. So. Yeah, there is. I'm uh, doing another video with Cody Crucello oh from Shun. Does he ever sleep? No, he doesn't. And and he's been busy with uh, Shun and all of his stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, he's doing the album artwork and the single artwork and the new the video we're gonna shoot in Kansas City. His, okay, that used to be his home base. Yeah, and it's going to be totally outrageous. Is Haley going to do the styling? Of course. Haley's going to do the styling. It's Haley. Wow. Yeah, so it's all in the works. And it's called? The uh, second single is called Sparrow. Yes. And... And the name of the album, which we announced on our Valentine's Day show, is? Feed Me Diamonds, title track. Of course. <laughs> Totally go into like that route of pop music, you title track. Yes. The yellow title. Exactly. At least it's not like a self-titled debut. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. There's certain... Oh, I can hear body language, because already I'm like... <laughs> it's a good song. Yeah, there are just certain catchphrases that we can sling around, but the title track, Feed Me Diamond, it's going to be good. We need to talk about shoes. Shoes need to be talked about. Louis Cheney's? Yes. Are they five inches? I don't, you know what, they're amazing to walk around in. They're I didn't super even bring comfortable, backups. right? Yeah, I didn't bring backups at all. I'm going to be performing tonight at Maggie Mae's live after <gasps> I DJ. Yes. Um, and I will perform in them. They're amazing. That Chrissy is great. Haley. Are they really? Okay, yeah. and they're Louis Cheney. And this is a part where I was just looking, I was in storage the other day with my shoe collection. <laughs> it's like, it's... So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If you look through my shoes, you can like tell where I was living at that time. <laughs> like the raving years, mid '90s in I New York City. Years. They were probably my best life. left. Yeah. Dude, thank goodness there were no digital cameras around. That's all I have to say because the photos yeah, are is. out there. There's a lot of glitter. Okay, okay. Explain to me your best mid '90s rave outfit, and then I'll give you mine. Okay. Um, it was from Austin B on Newberry Street in Boston. A uh, ringer t-shirt, baby tee, said Hell Kitty, and it was Hello Kitty with like a forked tongue. And then, not Jenko's, maybe some Fresh Jive. Ooh, yeah, Ew, put, like, Fresh Jive, Ew. yeah. The purple okay. with the navy, like flares. And then from, from Trash and Vaudeville, I mm -hmm. had some giant, just like really huge shoes. I, there's no other way to put it. They felt like walking on the moon when I wore them. Yeah, what's yours? Okay, mine was um, Thump and Tasty Halter Top. Remember them? Thump and Tasty from Lava Lounge, little club oh kid garb. Um, Thump and Tasty bell bottoms with like front pockies mm. and and rainbow on the on the uh, like where an alligator Lacoste would be. It's a little rainbow. Um, two sparkly rhinestone barrettes right here. Manic Panic blue lipstick. I had the rhinestone eye stuff. Yeah. And then the Manic Panic red shoes uh, with pink. I had pink hair. Uh, I love it. Oh my gosh. I we would have been the best friends back then, too. We would have been besties, like, yeah. Didn't hold my glow worm? Yeah. And I had a ball that would like glow and like bounce around like a fun ball. Oh my gosh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Happened. <laughs> that happened? It looks like it's happening again over here. <laughs> I, think, I think it could. I'm already there mentally. Already there. Anyway, Louis Cheney, they had one of the hottest stores on 8th Street to go and get shoes. And when I was, you know, whatever, penniless art student, we would go in and we would look maybe in the sales section. But it was, um, 
all the shoes were lined up in one long row the length of the store and by accident I knocked one over. This is my second day in New York City. I knocked over a boot on the end and the entire store of Louis Chini like did the like thump, 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 the domino effect. And I could see by like the clerks like looking up at me just like because obviously we weren't gonna buy anything too. Like that was the whatever. I have them now. Yeah. You Never got forget. them. You yeah, got I got them. them eventually. You showed them. Exactly. Whatever. And now we party professionally for a living. Kind of sort of First drink of the night, look, we're almost done. Him. That is a classy drink. Did you get a cucumber in it? I did. I already ate them. Yeah, I need a salad. (laughs) I need some vegetables. You need an alcohol salad? Yes. The Brayden way. Okay. Well, uh, let's talk about plans for the rest of the year. Do you have a release date for the album? Uh, Album is... May, June, I think. Mm-hmm. Yep, so it's right around the corner. And I've been, I go on tour. With the Ting Tings. Tings. I just like saying it with the Ting Tings. With the Ting Tings. Um, and I'm really excited. And I made these, well, I'm working with these uh, visual artists out in New York called Rain Bros. And um, <laughs> we, I really wanted to make these like plexiglass light up. Um, gear boxes with my all my scents and stuff, and they made it for me. Oh my god! And it's like strobes and lasers and coming out of my box, basically. <laughs> yeah, that could so. be construed in many different yeah, ways. Sorry, right, multi talented yeah. lasers, strobes, lasers, oh straight god. out of the box. But um, so that that and is that. exciting. And then another video of Cody, and then tour. Yeah. Tour, tour, tour. Ah. No. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It is happening. It's amazing. I know. Ah, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Dude, Maggie Mays is an awesome, awesome venue. I'm really excited. I think I, I think, think I'm, you'll I think I'm closing the night down there. Yes. So it's gonna burn. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna burn, burn it down. down. Yeah. Nobody left the disco alive kind of thing. <laughs> I like the vice party where you here that year when the when the balcony collapsed. Come on. Yes, I was not here that year. That was good. Yeah. And then I saw it on eBay. Somebody was like selling rubble from it. <laughs> from a vice party? From like, the you collapsed get that balcony. And I was just like, this rubble can't be from anywhere. I don't know. I don't know. You can't put a price on awesome though. I'm in TR. South by Southwest. Before I got here, on my way here, I lost my wallet, my iPod n- Nano, and I had had toe surgery. What? I know. I'm into it though. I'm in into it. it. I'm in it to win it. I'm gonna lose my my life here. You know what? I think your tiger jacket. Can can we get a shot for the camera? The tiger jacket is a protective yeah, thing as well. I actually went to Patricia Fields looking. Like I've been looking for a vintage jacket. Cannot find it. So I got one that said Vogue down the side. It's Ooh, that city. one's good though. It's fun. It's yeah. soft. Yeah. It's important to be comfortable when you rock out. Okay. If people want to keep track of you online, you're at MNDR on. Twitterverse, right? Yes, at MNDR and MNDR.com for my website. God and bless you for not having hyphen underscore music. No. Yeah. We were able to secure it. It's yes. great. Um, and mailing lists and mixtapes and check out my SoundCloud. And there's always, I'm posting all my DJ mixes. So yeah, I'll be giving yeah. my DJ, my self by DJ sets up. And, Oh, and you do the set list, too, so people can tell what it is. Please. Thank you for that. Of course. I'm going to thank you in advance for that. Of course, of course. We're going to kind of hop through a, a bit of that's gonna, bounce. and. It's going to save me from like being in front of you shazamming the set, so <laughs> I will restrain myself as much as I love my virgin mobile phone. That's what I use it for. I think shazam probably the most. And we're talking about maybe doing a little bit more on your radio show together. I believe so. Uh, it was a little talk, so maybe yeah, we'll get yeah, that yeah. going. TBD. It's going to be a good year. I'm really exactly. excited. Okay, you need to freshen up that drink. We need to go dance the body language. This has been day one of South by Southwest.